This is going to be a quick beginner's guide as to why you should use compound and isolation movements in your exercises. If you don't know what compound movements are, they're using two or three muscle groups, always more than one. With isolation movements, it just kind of sounds like it. You know what I mean? Isolation. You're trying to isolate that muscle. You're trying to do bicep curl or tricep extension or uh, leg extension or uh, leg curl. It's all isolating movements. It's only hitting one muscle group or one muscle part. With compound movements, you're hitting more than one. So for instance, bench press, you're going to be hitting chest and triceps. With squats, you're going to be hitting your quads, your hamstrings, a lot of things. So it's a lot of compound movements. It's the bulk of your exercises. That's what the compound movements are for. They're going to be mainly in the beginning of your exercises to um, hit more than one muscle group at once. And the isolation movements, you should use them towards the end because isolation movements hit that muscle group and just that muscle group. So you're going to be using it more to burn out that muscle, hit those little muscle fibers that you might not hit with those compound movements, and really change it up as to just doing uh, strength movements, which a lot of power lifters use. Power lifters mainly do compound movements because they do that for, for instance, they, they like that exercise, and also some of them compete in powerlifting. So um, they mainly focus on those exercises. They don't really need those isolation movements. So they're just gonna mainly focus on the compound movements. And what the isolation movements are is pretty much putting the icing on the sugar. So compound movements, you build all that mass, you build all that muscle, but there's parts that lacking maybe that's when you incorporate the isolation movements and that's going to make you look more of a physique athletic look get you fully rounded uh, a full rounded body as to um, hitting every single part of every single muscle and that's why you should incorporate compound movements in the beginning to towards the end do isolation movements obviously some people do it a little different little differently um, in my personal opinion and for basics for beginners out there started off with compound movements uh, towards the end ended off with isolation movements.